Good evening, good evening. Thank you for joining us this evening. So let me welcome you to our Thanksgiving service. Yeah, it feels like Sunday, but it's really not Sunday. It's Wednesday. Oh, it's Tuesday, actually. We would normally have Bible study, but we're having a time of Thanksgiving. So welcome to our Thanksgiving service. Um, here at Word Life, we just believe that the word of God changes lives. And so we believe that Christ is who he says he is, that he came to die for our sins. We hope you get to know him as we do because he's the reason for life and for living. And of course, we're about people. We want to be in relationship with you. We want to help you in any way that we can because that is why we're here. So if you need assistance in any way, please reach out to us. Tonight, we're just really going to lift up the name of the Lord and just give thanks for all the things that he has done and for who he is to us. Um, I'm just going to read a brief scripture tonight, and it's Psalm 105, and it's just verses 1 and 2. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people, sing unto him, sing psalm unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works. So as we come into a time of just being thankful for so many things, and as we're going to go into our service, I just want you to, to just join me in just praying over the service that the Lord will have his way and that hearts will not just be blessed, but lives will be changed. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for yet another day. You are righteous God. You're awesome God. You are a wonderful God. We thank you for all that you are, sovereign Lord. And as we come right now into your presence, we pray that you will forgive us of our sins, Lord, and that you'll cleanse us, cleanse us of all unrighteousness. We pray, Father, that as we go forward, that you'll go before us at this time. We pray, Lord, for those that will join later on and for those that will see this um, down the road, we pray, Lord, that you know their hearts will be challenged and their lives changed through what you through what we will do here tonight. Father, we pray that you'll have your way, you will lead every proceeding, you will go before us this evening. We say thanks for just being God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. We're gonna go into a time of praise and worship, just giving thanks to an almighty God for all he has been and all he has done for us. Oh, and I 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I thank God. I thank the master and I thank the savior because to paraphrase what the song is saying is basically that he saved us and we are to be thankful. He took us, um, one, one songwriter says, he took me out of the miry clay and put my feet on a rock to stay. And so that's reason enough for us to just give him thanks because as the song says, hell has lost another one. Let me repeat that. Hell has lost another and one. So we are happy about that tonight, that we are redeemed and hell has lost us. Amen? Amen. Amen. We continue worshiping the Lord because we're, we're just going to be so, so riled up tonight in thanking him for all the things that he has been to us. Praise the Lord.
Amen, amen. That song just says it all. If you really listen to that song, it just says it all. I mean, he's taken us through. We, we're thankful for the big, the small, the tears, everything. Because you see, we've gone through so much, but we've only gone through it because of his grace and his sustenance that we are here. And so we give him thanks. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this another opportunity to just bless your name and just thank you, Lord, for just who you are. Sovereign Lord, you have been so good to us. We thank you, God, for everything that you've given us more than all, Lord. We thank you for your son, Jesus, that you sent into this world, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Father, as we just bow our hearts tonight to thank you, my God, and to humble ourselves in worship, we pray, Lord, that you'll tabernacle with us. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. We pray that you'll overwhelm us with your presence, mighty God. And when we leave, we will say that it was good for us to be here. Father, we turn everything over to you and we say, be the director, mighty God, of this evening. Lord God, let's say be put aside, mighty God, and your spirit reign. Oh, mighty God, we give you praise and we say thank you. Oh God, for this opportunity, my God, to come together one more time to just lift up your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Uh, sir, Sister Margaret, you're muted. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sister Margaret, and I've been chosen to read the reading, the scripture reading tonight, and we're reading from Psalm 136. Whoa, that's a little small. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens, his love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, his love endures forever. Who made the great lights, his love endures forever. The sun to govern the day, his love endures forever. The moon and stars to govern the night, his love endures forever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, his love endures forever. And brought Israel out from among them, his love endures forever. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, his love endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder, his love endures forever and brought Israel through the midst of it, his love endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, his love endures forever. To him who led the people through the wilderness, his love endures forever. To him who struck down great kings, his love endures forever, and killed mighty kings, his love endures forever. Zion, king of the Amorites, his love endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, his love endures forever. And gave their land as an inheritance, his love endures forever. An inheritance to his servant Israel, his love endures forever. He remembered us in our low estate, his love endures forever. And freed us from our enemies, his love endures forever. He gives food to every creature. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His love endures forever. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. His love endures forever. Thank God. If you are joining us for the first time, we're so glad that you joined us. We invite you to text welcome to 954-787-5712 so that we may connect with you. 
we're not going to try to get you to come to church. No, we just want to connect with you because we are about people and we just want to get you to know you. So please go ahead and text welcome. In a few minutes, you're going to be seeing a um, video. I want you to keep your eyes peeled to the screen as we wait for the video. In a few minutes, you know, here at Word Life, what we do is we believe in making disciples. And how do we do that? By spreading the word. And the social media is a powerful tool. And we've been using that, using snippets of, of, of the messages to just impact the world. So I want you to just take a look at just what Word Life is doing out there in the world. Sometimes, people of God, we might feel forsaken, but when it's a sacrifice to praise him and we give him his praise anyway, that's when he rises up. Psalm 19 verse 1 tells us that the heavens declare the glory of the Lord. And so guess what? You don't have to praise him. You could, you could keep your lips silent. You don't have to praise him. You're not obligated to praise him. He's going to get his praise anyway. If God does something or allows something in your life, and you think that because of what God did, you're not going to praise him? Guess what? You're not doing God a disservice by not praising him. If you don't praise him, the rocks are going to cry out his praises anyway. If you do not praise him, somebody else will praise him. Some being will praise him. The lions will praise him. The heavens will praise him. You do yourself a disservice. Amen. So in this season of Thanksgiving, we praise God, despite some of the challenges that we, we might face. Good day, people of God. Um, God. Faithful is our God. One of the beautiful things about this time of year is when we pause to give Thanksgiving, you give Thanksgiving to our faithful God. And we have a um, testimony, um, to, testimony of slash praise report. And if Sister Margaret, if you would um, prepare yourself, I see, I know your camera is off. You will prepare yourself to share that, that testimony with us. Um, if you are there, okay, tell you what, let's put a, put a pause on that and um, Sister Precious will turn up. Okay, well, here she is. <laughs> Voila. I'm sorry right. about that. I'm okay. sorry about it. It's just that right. something's wrong with my laptop and I had to keep switching from phone to laptop to phone to laptop. So I'll just stick with the phone. All right, no, no worries, no worries. Wonderful. All right. Okay. So, Sister Margaret, I look forward to what Laura has to say through you. Go ahead, my sister. Hi, good evening again, everybody. Again, my name is Sister Margaret, and um, I just want to share something with you guys. Um, I don't, I do not struggle with trusting the Lord, but I learned something this weekend that maybe I really don't trust Him as much as I say I do. And I tend to lean on to my own understanding sometimes. I had a, a, a little job to do Friday evening to pick up a little girl who I usually pick up from school a um, couple of days a week and take her home. Her mother called me early that day and said, um, need a favor. Instead of bringing her home, can you keep her till later? Because she has something to do. I said, sure. What time later? She said, about 10 o'clock. I said, no, 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 no. I have something to do Friday evening. So I can't do that. So she called me back and she said, um, all right, just pick her up at 5.30 and drop her to this person's house and she will deal with her. I said, okay, that sounds like a good plan. I went to the school, picked her up at 5.40. She needed something to eat, so I went to Burger King. I'm not going to go through every little step of the way, but what I'll tell you is that by the time I left Burger King, I was heading to the lady's house, which wasn't too far. There was roadblocks. Then there was an accident. Then there was police stopping people. And by the time I turned off of the main road, because I was going a little bit nuts here now, because I'm looking at my phone. I mean, looking at my clock on the car. And I'm seeing minutes to seven. And I still have this little girl in my car. And I pull over on the side of the road out of the, the traffic. And I was literally like beside myself. I was angry. I was miserable. I was not in, a, in good shape. And I'm saying, what am I supposed to, I can't deal with this. You know, why do I keep telling, saying yes to people and just don't 
check out all of what I'm supposed to check out before I say yes. And, you know, why do I keep doing this? What, what's, what's my problem? Why can't I learn from my mistakes? And I heard somebody say, take her home. And I looked, to, I said, Aliyah, did you say something to me? She says, no, Miss Margaret. So I said, what? So then I hear it again, take her home. I said, God, I guess it's you, but I can't take her home. I have things to do. This is just more work. This is seven o'clock at night. I'm tired. This lady not coming till 10 o'clock. I said, please give me something else again. And I heard nothing. And I prayed and I asked again, I heard silence. And I found myself turning into a plaza where there was about a million other cars. Everybody trying to get out of the traffic and away from the accident. And I found a way, don't ask me how, to get out of that plaza, right across Pines Boulevard, which was like about a million cars in both directions. And I just ended up going straight up Palm Boulevard, I mean, Palm Avenue, on Johnson to Flamingo. I said, what? whoa, this is direction to my house. Why am I driving this way? I didn't want to take this girl home. But I felt that I was supposed to. So I took her home. You know, when we got here, so by this time it's like 7.30. As soon as we jump out of the car, she put her arm around my, my waist and said, let me help you to walk because I know your, your leg is not good. <laughs> so I said, well, she's about like, you know, a few feet high and she's this size. So I said, okay, she hold my hand, she helped me up. When we got into the house, she says to me, do you have YouTube? So I said, oh boy, here we go. So I said, yes, dear. So I turned on the TV, find YouTube, hand her the remote, and she was having a wonderful time on YouTube. All of a sudden, I remember, I said, oh, but my thing is online. So I said, oh, I can catch the service online. So I sit down at the table, turn on the computer. Service had started already, but not too far. You know, for the next two hours, this little girl left her YouTube, leave the TV. She came and she climbed up on the chair beside me. And sometimes she climbed into my lap. And she was playing with me here, rubbing my shoulder and watching the service and singing along with some of the songs. And when everything was, and she was waving, you know, when pastor reached out and said, oh, it's the sister Margaret and her granddaughter. She's waving and she, and she was, she was writing things in the chat. Some of those things in chat did not come from me. It was her. Like she would write and say, what a beautiful song or good job. And I'm saying, what is this? And then after that, now she started to ask me, so, um, I, I, I hear about Jesus, you know, but um, so does he have a house? So I said, yes. She said, so how big is it? I said, I don't know, but it's very, very big. So she said, then how, how, how tall is he? I said, way, way up. Then how are you going to hold in the house if he's so tall? So she said, but anyway, I think he's a good guy. I said, yes, he's a very good guy. She said, well, I also heard about this other one called the devil. So I said, you don't want to hear about that one. I said, that one is a bad dude. She said, really, what do you do? I said, he make you do bad things. He said, but if I do bad things, then Jesus won't like me. He said, I said, Jesus always loves you. Never stop loving you. So what I must do, I said, when you make a mistake, you talk to Jesus and you ask him to forgive you and everything is cool again. She said, oh, that's nice. So then she says, so you have anything else we can do? <laughs> so I said, I don't know. She said, what's in that box over there? I said, some Thanksgiving decorations that I'm trying to put up before my son gets here, but I kind of tired and my leg hurts. She said, well, let, let me see it now. Well, the next thing I know, she pulled out all of the decorations, unwrap them, put them all over my living room. The whole of my living room is full up of decorations. And by this time, I don't remember the time. I don't, I didn't realize that time, you know, the next thing I know, the, the mother called. It was quarter to 11, and I did not know the time. And she left. And when I reached outside, I walked in them out, and she walking away from me. And I called out to her, and I said, so what? That's all I get? The little girl turned around, and just like the movies, ran to me and almost jumped into my arms and hugged me around my waist. I was this close to tears. You know, and they left. The rest of the night, I was up till late because I just felt full of energy, couldn't sleep. I woke up the next morning, and for the first time in many weeks, I woke up late. I slept all through the night. I didn't wake up until about 12 o'clock the day. I felt refreshed. I felt full of energy, but I felt peaceful. I felt hopeful. I felt full of joy. And I could, I said, maybe because I got a good night's sleep.
But then when I started my morning prayers and I was doing my usual thing, thanking God for this, thanking God for that, all of a sudden, he said to me, how about thanking me for last night? And I'm saying, with all of, he said, and he revealed to me that if he hadn't, he was, what I felt is that God is good and big on big things. And he's always there. He heals us of, 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 of things. He, he fixes, you know, he gives us jobs. He gives us a home. He, 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 he saves us. But we don't stop to think about the little beanie things that really, that's what touched my heart, that he made me take this little girl home when I didn't plan to, I didn't want to. He made the traffic mess up everything that I didn't have a choice anymore to just take her home. And when she came home, she blessed me so much. She sat in my lap, she hugged me, she watched service with me. And when she left, she hugged me so much. And I'm saying, oh my gosh, I, was, I just felt so, I don't know, so blessed, so blessed. And then Sunday morning, this, this theme was, you have God, you have everything. And that's when it became real to me that just keep remembering that I have God. I have God. You know, I went out and I came back today and I had a problem trying to find space to put one bottle of orange juice in my freezer because it was so full. I drove where I was going in my own car. My car had a problem last week and the week before. And I said, well, I don't know where the money is coming from to get this fixed, but I'm going to still do whatever I have to do. I went to my brother yesterday and he fixed it. He didn't charge me up. He didn't charge me a penny. I didn't ask him not to, but he just didn't charge me a penny. And then this evening when I came home from off the road, guess what? My son is here. My son came from Jamaica to spend the week with me <laughs> sometimes I feel like I don't deserve all of this but at the same time I'm so grateful and I'm going to try harder and harder and harder to live that thing trust I trust in him in all my heart I lean not onto my own understanding I acknowledge him in all my ways and he will direct my paths he directed my paths Friday night and look at everything I've gotten since then Look at all of the blessings that I've gotten since then, just following his direction, just pulling off the side of the road and saying, what am I, what am I supposed to do now? And I didn't think of it as a prayer at the time. I was just saying, you know, I'm fed up with this traffic. I'm fed up with all of this. What am I supposed to do now? And he heard me. And instead of chastising me and reminding me that I should trust him, he just opened doors, he opened ways, and he just led me in a certain direction. So let us all try hard to remember all that we have, not all that we don't have, but all that we have. I'm sure every one of us here have a home that we live in. We have a car or access to one. We have food in the fridge. We, I know we all think of we have family and friends, but some of these little things we don't stop to think about. And God thinks about them. And yeah. He blesses us in every single way you can think of and even in ways that you don't think of. So that's my story. And I wish everybody the happiest and holiest and blessed Thanksgiving. And I love you all. I'm not sorry for the tears because the tears is God's blessings and joy that just keep overflowing with me. So thank you all for listening. And I hope I didn't take up too much of your time, Pastor Rod. But... All good. I'll be praised for, for his faithfulness. Um, Sister Margaret is like family to me. Like family. I cry, she cries. Hey, we all cry. Amen. Oh. <laughs> God be praised. God be praised. Thank you so much, Sister uh, Margaret. I praise God. Sister Precious, over to you. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. This is a teardrop. There's our language on God understands, right? Thank God. Um, good evening, everyone. I am here to pray over your, your seeds, your blessing. Blessing the seed that you will sow later this um in our program. Uh, it's a season of thanksgiving. 
and just reflecting on the heart of thanksgiving, gratitude, being thankful for all the goodness that God has shown to us. And in Romans 16, I was just, just reflecting on Romans 16, where Paul, the apostle Paul, was expressing his deepest heartfelt gratitude of thankfulness for almost all the people who played a pivotal role in his, in his ministry. And as we see that um, for those who came by him during his time of need, and um, Romans 16, I commend to you, Phoebe, our sister, who is a servant of the church in Caesarea, that you may receive her in the Lord in a manner worthy of the saints and assist her in whatever business she has need of you. For indeed, she has been a helper of many and of myself also. And he went on, greet Priscilla and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who asked who risk their own necks for my life, to whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. So as we go and sow our seed, we just think, think of how the people in our lives, the ones that we can touch with the gifts that we give, and God, the word of God said that he honors whatever you sow and he blesses it. So there's many ways to give. By mail, it's on our screen, mail or check to Word Life Christian Fellowship. The address is there or to Zelle, Cash App, Church Center Giving, or text. So when you sow your seed, God will bless you. So let's pray. Father, your name is the highest. Your name is the greatest. Your name stand above them all. And as your children come to you this, after, this evening, in the spirit of gratitude and thanksgiving, Father God, whatever is sown, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless it. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that they'll understand that this, whatever they sow in this ministry, this ministry is fertile soil. And Father, you are the one who give increase. Yes, you have commanded us, some of us to plant and some to water. But oh, Father God, you're the one who gives increase and we thank you. We thank you for each person presented here and, and each home represented. Father God, I pray, oh God, that you will bless. For those who don't have, God, I pray that you'll open the windows of heaven and pour them, oh God, that they may not have room to receive, that they will continue giving, giving to those who are in need. And Father, for most of all, that they will call on you and walk with you and be obedient to what you say. So, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Amen. Uh, we praise God. We give him thanks, special thanks. We give thanks with a grateful heart. This is our season of Thanksgiving. Um, and the word of God tells us in everything, give thanks. And so every day should really be Thanksgiving Day. But this time, every year here in the United States, the fourth Thursday of November, we pause to give special thanksgiving to our faithful God. Our brother Melbourne Maxwell will be uh, sharing the word with us tonight. And so let us go before God in prayer just now and ask him to lead our brother and speak through him. Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor your great name. Father, you are our loving and faithful God. From the rising of the sun to the going down the same, your name is forever to be praised. Father, it's not, it's not time for your word. We thank you, God, for watching over your word. Father, you tell us that you watch over your word to perform it. And God, I thank you for um, my brother. Thank you, God, for his obedience to you. Thank you for working in, in him, for preparing him for such a time as this. And Father, I pray, God, that now uh, you would hide him behind the cross while you speak to our collective hearts. We have different situations uh, that we deal with in our lives, God. And, and we sometimes we don't know what to do and where to turn. But Father, having the attitude, attitude of gratitude, having the attitude to praise you despite some of the, the challenges we might face, Father, uh, that approach will, will be pleasing to you, God. And we know that you'll do even greater works uh, for us. Father, we pray that each heart that's coming to the service today would be pliable and made ready for the seed that shall be planted on tonight. We, we cast everything aside, God. We, we just ask you, Holy Spirit, to rise up, be lifted up. Father, you promised that if you if you be lifted up, you draw on men unto you. So draw us to yourself tonight, God, as you speak to us through our brother. So let the words of his mouth, the meditation of all four hearts, be acceptable in your sight. Oh God, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I just want you to know that I am not here tonight by my doing. I was ordered to be here. Spirit of the Lord came to me last week, Friday. You wake me up. Melbourne, you make yourself available, available to be used by me. It's time for you to go. So on obedience, I follow what the Lord says. Now the scripture that Sister Margaret had just read. Thank you, Sister Margaret. I mean, wow, that testimony. But the scripture, Psalm 136. You know, when God put this Psalm in my heart and I, I, I read it, and I noticed that the three first, the three first verse, verses, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. And then 23, 22 more verses, sorry, 22 more verses. You didn't hear that. And at the end of it again, the psalmist said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Now I'm trying to figure out why did the psalmist write the psalm like this? Why? But then he bring me back to sometime you're talking to your kid. And the kid is like not hearing you. And you just block out some of the sentence and you drive the sentence home. And then you tell the kid what you were initially, initially telling them in the beginning. So the psalmist was telling us to give thanks unto the Lord, give thanks unto the Lord. And we didn't hear. So he just tell us what the Lord has done. All the rest of 24 verses. And then you remind us, this is why I am telling you you should give thanks unto the Lord. Now, giving thanks unto the Lord, what is this like? Okay, thanking and praising God for who he is, expressing gratitude to God for what he has done. Thanking God for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, giving God thanks for protection, life, and life necessities. Hmm. Now I listen to Sister Margaret, and she said, sometimes we don't give God thanks for the little things. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to tell her that, you know, we might think it's little, but it's big with God. Because God wants us to give him thanks. When we are praying, 
we need to give God thanks. When we're eating, we need to give God thanks. When we wake up in the morning, we need to give God thanks. When we're driving down the road, we need to give God thanks. If the word said, we should give God thanks for all things. In everything, give God thanks. Amen. Good or bad. Yes. And when I think about it, okay, you're driving down the turnpike and a person cut you off. Hmm. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And then we have to look back. Why should we say thank you, God, when the person just cut you off? Maybe that keep you alert. No, you're alert because you be driving now. So you're looking for a next person. So you keep you focused. You, 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 you come home, husband, your wife don't cook. And you walk into the house. Oh, thank you, Lord. Why should you say thank you, Lord? There's a stove, and there's a pot, and there's food in the fridge. So you could cook. You see, he knows <laughs> what we need before we even ask. Amen. You know, you know, I was, I was, I was, I was searching and I was digging and I was searching, and this word pops out to me. And I tell you, I don't do big words. I, I, I I'm gonna be honest. Predestined. And I'm going, what? I said, God, why would you give me a word like that? You know, I don't like big words. So, <laughs> all right. I start to do some research. Praise the Lord. Oh, geez. Decided or determined in advance. Do you know God does the stuff predestined? You know, and I'm saying, God, thank you. You, you are so great. You know, you know, in, 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 in the, a little bit later, I, I'm gonna give you guys a, a, a testimony. I mean, and I tell you, my brother, I needed to cry for me because I, 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 you know, I'm talking about, you know, I'm talking about, you know, I'm talking about, when you hear the testimony, I want you to cry. And, 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 and let me tell you something, what God is doing, what God is doing now, you know, you know Psalms 107, 1, 2, 3, he said, give thanks unto the Lord for it is good. Yes. His love endures forever. Amen. And then he said, those who, he said, let the redeemed tell their story. Tell your story. Amen. Don't don't shy. But don't don't shy. Tell your story, because he has redeemed you. Yes. Praise the Lord. You know you know you know you know. Sometimes I I I I I, I just sit back and say, God, you are so awesome. Yes. God, you are so great. You know we should be thankful for everything that you have done to us. For, for me, for me, where you have brought me from mm. to where I am right now, I have nothing to do with me, nothing. Nothing to do with me. It is all about God and his marvelous work. Amen. It's all about him. Amen. You know, this is why I praise him. This is why I give him thanks. Yes. Because sometimes, you know, Sunday, let me tell you something. From Friday, from God, wake me up. You notice I'm wearing a white shirt. I was delivering the word in a white suit. I wasn't sitting down, I was standing up, but that's okay. And Sunday, you know, our, our grandchildren were here. And, you know, whenever they came, they want us to go ride with them. No, I don't have a bicycle. My wife banned me from a bicycle because I broke my foot like six or seven years ago. So she don't want me to ride a bicycle anymore. So she have a bicycle, but she have a three-wheel bicycle. Okay. So now I have to go ride a three-wheel bicycle like some old dude with my grandkids. Okay, so I was riding with my grandkids up there. And on your wife's bicycle. And yes, on my wife's bicycle. And when I... You know, I said to her that, you know what, it's time to go, you know, to have some dinner so I could take you home because I have to drive to Fall and Hill. And when I came into the garage and I tried to get off the bicycle, it's like, I couldn't get off the bicycle. And I'm saying, 
It's like a nervousness came over me and I'm saying, God, what is this? And I could feel like God is like the devil and God wrestling for me. And I, feel, and I tell you, I, I make that figure and I said, devil, you're not going to win. Whatever the word God gave me, I got to listen to me. It's, it's my line. It, if I'm lying down in my bed, if I'm sitting down, I'm going to deliver the message that God put on my heart for Give his thanks. people. Thanks, Give thanks. Hard times. Because God is good. You know, <laughs> Psalms 107, verse 21. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. He has wonderful things for us. He laid it out already. It is dear. It is already dear. This is where the word pre, pre, predestined yes. came in. Yes. It's already there. It's already done it from the foundation of the earth. Amen. He already laid it out for us. We should give him thanks. It doesn't matter what the devil say. It doesn't matter what the doctor say. Yes. Let's give him thanks. Yes. You know what? Something happens and you don't understand. Hmm. You go to God and God show you. Something happened and you don't understand and God don't show you. Just give him thanks. It doesn't matter because it's not about you, it's about him. Amen. It is about him. It's about giving praise to him. Yes. Not because he has done anything for us. No, it's because of who he is. We, we need to give him thanks. I'm going to say it. I know the world, the, 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 the leadership team heard this already. You know, we have a meeting every Thursday, and normally we give a joke. And I read this, and, and you know what? It, 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 it sounds like a joke, but I don't take it for a joke. Because when the world said all things were created by God, it means all things, everything. And then the scientists, you know, you have a group of scientists that he work with, and he decided that, oh, wow, I know how to make man. No, he should go back to his scientists, you know, his colleague, colleague and say, you know what, let me show you guys how to make man. No, he don't want that. He go to God. And he go, God, I could make man. And God said, really? Nonsense. He said, yes, I could make man. And God said, okay, really, show me. So he bent down on the ground to gather up some dust. And God said, oh, no, 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 no. Go make your own dust. <laughs> you know, it, it, is, it is, you know, it might sound like a joke, but it, it's real because he created everything. That's right. He's created everything for our enjoyment. No, Thursday, we come in with the Thanksgiving and we're going in front of our friends or our family. Mm -hmm. And I just want to take the time out to say, you know what? We should just search our soul and our hearts to know that everything that would be prepared for us to eat is made by God. Everything. Everything. We don't make nothing. Mm. We make nothing. So, you know what, it, 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 is, it, is, it is wonderful. So I, I am just gonna give you guys, so the, my, my, the, my story now, my, my, my testimony, so do me a favor, Get your bootstrap, sit down, hold on. Sister Margaret already told you guys that I am the one. Well, she might not say it, but I'm the one who fixed the car and did the charger. But I did not do it. God did it. So yesterday morning, I went to work. I have a sister. She's in the meeting now, car driving, trying to figure it out. I drove it all the way to West Palm Beach. Drove it back down. I heard the noise when I'm coming to West Palm Beach, but I get up in the morning and drove it all the way back down to the to, to place of business and I didn't hear the noise. So I call her and said, you know what? You know, we talk about the car. She said, um, do you hear the noise? I said, yes, I heard the noise when I was going to West Palm Beach, but when I came down this morning, I didn't hear the noise. And she goes, you know what? Daddy, which is our father, who I didn't even, she said, daddy is going to tell you or me what is wrong with the car so we could fix it. And now we start and have a little discussion about that. And the lady said, and this is what she said out of her mouth. I don't know why, 
but I am going to do it. Then the lady started to pray for me and the business. And she laid it out. And I tell you, honestly, it was like she was just feeling, she was just feeling, I could feel it, I could feel it coming up, I could feel it all over me, I could feel the spirit of the Lord all over me. And I just said, thank you, God, thank you, God. And when she's finished, she said, you know what, she's gone about her business, she's gone talk to her daddy, she will call me back to bring her car when she finished talking to her daddy. I go, amen. Now, the, my other sister, now, the sister that read the, 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 the scripture with an appointment. But before I, I get a call from a customer in the morning want me to replace an engine. And I said, yes, I gave him the price. And he said, okay, fine. So he told me that he had the engine in a box and he wanted to find out if he could put the box in the car in the back seat. I'm going, you can't fit the engine in the back seat. No. So I told him that, listen to me, I'm gonna call my tow truck driver, the good guy who tow for me and tell him the whole situation and he will bring the box with the car. Okay, fine. My sister came, I took her car and took it in the back and I came in and I told her what I find and I'm gonna do. And she said, you gonna work on my car? And I said, yeah. And she said, but you gotta talk to me. And I'm going, hold on, sister, when I finish the car, we will talk because every time she comes to the shop, there's testimony, over testimony, testimony, and we big up that, you know, iron shop, if I am. I was outside working on her car. And the spirit said to me, do not charge her. Hmm. I just yield to the spirit. I said, okay, I'm not charging her. If you say it, I'm not charging her. You are my source. So, you know, if I don't charge her, you know where the money is coming from. Okay, so I was out there working on her car and let me tell you something people, this is where we start. I know that there's a God who I I trust him. I give thanks to day, night, when I wake up in the morning, when I'm driving, when I'm eating, I just give him praise because listen to me, I thank him for my life, I thank him for my wife, I thank him for my children, I thank him for every situation because he is God. Yes. I was out there working on the car and I saw the tow truck pull up now with the broken car. You can put it up for me, my brother. With the broken car and the box. Now this tow truck driver, instead of he put the car up first and then put the box in the back, he put the box in the front of the car. So that's the car. No, you can show the box, my brother. And you tell me if the box could hold in the car. And when the tow truck man came, I said to him, okay, so you got to drop the car and then you're going to reverse the tow truck up to the gate and we're all going to slide the back. That's an heavy engine. That engine weighs about probably 1,500 pounds. And he said to me that, okay, so the tow truck tilt the back of the tow truck down to the road. And when the tow truck tilt the back of the truck down to the road, I saw a guy coming on the same street with a forklift. No people, listen to me. Hmm. Coming down the street with a forklift. The guy who was coming down the street with a forklift, yes, I know him, he's a business owner too, and he's a believer because we used to go to Cooper City Church together. And when he came down, I said to him, did the tow truck man call you to take the box out of the truck? He said, no. So, but then he was laughing. I thought he was joking. So I turned to the tow truck driver and said, did you call him? And he said, no, hmm. and I'm going, okay. So I started to talk to the guy with a forklift and let me tell you something, as God, listen to me, God is good. God is good. The guy with forklift said to me, there was a guy in a white truck hmm. and all I heard, a third building, this is all I heard. A guy with a white truck and a third building. And I tell you, my building is the third building. I don't own a white truck. And the guy came and he took this stuff off, put it in the yard, and he leave. And I'm going, really, guy? Really, God? People of God, listen to what I'm saying. Just give God thanks for everything. And when you give him thanks for the stuff that, you know, we just heard that it is a little, then the big stuff start to come in. Yeah. It start to come in. The big stuff start to come in. So we just need to give thanks. 
So just give thanks. Give thanks for everything. Give thanks for, for, for your life. Yes. Because he's worthy of all our thanks. Oh, praise all our thanks and our praise. praise and let me tell you something. I know we're a little bit over time. You got to hear this. This morning, I was in the kitchen getting ready for work. And it comes as clear as possible. And he said, I don't know if it's a warning for the church or it's a statement. But he said, tell the church, stop point finger. Stop point finger. And I start to go, okay. You know, you know, you man, start to think, God, the United States is about Thanksgiving pointing finger. And he said, you know, we point finger and we point on people and we stereotype, you know, we, we marginalize them. And we say, okay, you can't, you can't, you can't. He says, it's about time you stop point finger and say, don't point, pray. He says, stop point, pray. And I said, God, really? And I'm here, I'm still, I'm still, quit. I'm not, you know, you know, we, man, God, that take the, the message of wide. And he said, what is wrong with you? You must follow other. And he brought me to the scripture. Do not be anxious about anything. Mm -hmm. But in everything with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Yes. With thanksgiving. Make your request be known to God. Amen. Make your request known to God. Father, I have said it all. Mm. I have said what you put on my heart, Lord. Lord, I just say thank you for this opportunity that you have given me, Lord, mm. in this medium to speak to your people. Lord, we have this conversation that I will not go unless you go. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for to come with me, Lord. Lord, thank you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. People of God, at the sound of my voice, I have said what the Lord has put on my heart. I heard the song I played this morning. Hell has lost another one. Hell lost another one. Mm. If you want to be singing that song, mm -hmm. saying hell has lost another one, please join me. Join me. Join me in saying this prayer. And let's show the devil that he just lost another one, another two, another three. It doesn't matter. Say this prayer with me. Dear God, I know I have sinned. And that my sin separates me from you. I am sorry for my sin. I believe Jesus died on the cross for my sin so my sin can be forgiven. I believe Jesus rose again and he's alive and I will serve him. If you pray that prayer, you don't have to. I don't want you to put anything in the chat. This is about you and God. If you are not in this in our community, and you are far, you could find a Bible-based church. Make sure it's Bible-based and follow, follow, follow Christ. Or if you decided that you wanna stay on Zoom, my brother, I'm gonna ask you to put up the church information, please. And you want to stay in this ministry? You want to stay with us? That we could help you? 
in your walk, you could call our church office and you could reach, us, reach out to us and one of us will help you in your walk. Yes. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, your words, your power, our praise. Yes. You're really of all our thanksgiving, Lord. Yes. Lord, we need you. We need you for such a time as this, dear God. Yes. I pray blessing over your people, God. God, this is not my doing. This is your doing, dear God. By the word that come out of my mouth, dear God, let it be known that you have chosen me to do your work. Father God, I thank you for this moment. I thank you, Lord. Father God, I pray blessing over our family, dear God. Father God, I thank you. This week we're going into the to, to Thanksgiving festivity, dear God, but I pray, dear God, that we put you in front of everything, dear God. God, we need you. We need you, Lord. It's such a time as this, God. We thank you for everything, Lord. We give you the praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 People of God, over to you, my brother. People of God, let us open up our microphones and give a great big hallelujah to our great God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Worship you, Lord. Lord. Worship you, Lord. And the praise of God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Glory to God. Bless your name, Lord. Jesus. The songwriter says, Surely, surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. And surely the presence of the Lord has been in the service through, through, through its duration. And surely his, his hand is upon our brother as he shared this word tonight. In everything, give thanks. I know sometimes the challenges of our lives might cause us to think um, it's hard to give thanks. But people of God, we're here. Where there's life, there's hope. And we just honor our faithful God. We honor him. We thank him for raising up our brother for such a time as this. And yes. for, for each one of us here tonight. And you know, the word of God tells us many are the plans in a man's heart. But it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. We had uh, sent out instructions to say we're having a strict one-hour service tonight. But, you know, we, if <laughs> we, I, on the one hand, I want to say I apologize, but I will not apologize for God because this service has gone exactly how God has desired for it to go. And if, if hearts are being blessed, if the anointing is rich, then we're not going to quench the spirit simply because of some promise that we made it's the lord's church is the lord's work and we glorify him we honor him now the this the formal part of this is done in in a, in a sense and you know we try to have it structured to some degree and and there's a, a closing song that we want to do and do, do the benediction but considering it's a season of, of thanksgiving if there's anyone who may have a a praise report or a brief testimony to share with us just for a couple of minutes. I know it's something that would encourage our collective heart. Sister Margaret has shared a testimony tonight. This encouraged our heart. Brother Mel has shared what the Lord has put on, on his heart and we've all been so encouraged and edified, so built up. If there's something that you, you might feel led to share for a couple of minutes with us tonight, um, um, please uh, do so now. This is not a wedding ceremony. I'm not going to say, or forever hold your peace, because you could you could share it with other people at another point. But if you're so if you're so led, please do share. If you're so led, please do share. Good night, Brother Roderick. Uh, ambassadors of Christ, I greet you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. My name is Janet Holder, as you can see. Um, on the screen. 
Uh, I just want to say thank you, uh, Brother Mel, for inviting me. I'm not a stranger here, but it's been a while. Uh, so it's so good to see everyone tonight. And indeed, I am grateful uh, to be here tonight. The Lord has been good. As a matter of fact, that has been better than good. And so I am humbled uh, for the relationship that he allows me, for the intimacy that he allows me to have with him. I am grateful. Uh, it's been a journey. Could not have made it without him at all. And uh, I don't know if it's so much of a testimony, Brother Roderick, but I just, <laughs> Brother Mel, you, you, you started out and you, I, I'm, I'm preparing on a normal basis. I don't do anything on a Tuesday night because I'm preparing for my Wednesday live, okay? My 11-11, the 11-11 the ministries that I do. And so I stood in front of my mirror uh, just before I came on and I heard source. I'm looking for a title uh, for my presentation tomorrow. And I heard the word source. And then I came on here and, and, and brother Mel came on and he's talking about source. Give thanks because he is our source. And I said, okay, dad, I got it source and i i, I kind of have the idea of what i'm wanting to speak about but just to hear that reconfirmation you know the lord is intentional and uh you talked about brother mel you talked about in all things give thanks and and sometimes we tend to we get the rose and we tend to be complaining so much about the thorn that's on the rose that we actually miss the beauty of the rose. But we must realize that the thorns come with the rose. In everything, give thanks. Even when we're pricked, sometimes it's about the lesson that we're learning when we're being pricked. Sometimes he gives us the gifts that are wrapped in sandpaper. So sometimes, you know, um, they're different, text, different textures and we get bruised. But it's, as you have said, I listened very carefully, Brother Mel. It's predestined, it's planned, it's predestined. And the bruises and the bumps and even the derailment, he is such an infinite God. He is such an omniscient, omniscient God that he works even the derailments back into his plan for us. He's got it done. He's not doing anything new. God is in the re-business. He's done working. He started it, he finished it, and then he's starting us on the journey. So if we can just have the mindset, if we can just have the mindset that yes, he says it, all things are possible through him. But he also says that we can do all things. All things we can do, not some things. If we trust him, and if we continue to praise him, thank him. He wants that relationship with us. And because of that love, that, that overwhelming, never ending, reckless love that he's got, he's handcuffed you and I to him in love. And he's the only one with that key, that love Amen. that he's got for us. Did you hear me? He's handcuffed us to him in love and he's the only one with that key he will never ever ever 
forsake us or fail us. No matter how much we fall, a just man falls seven times, but it's not the fall, ladies and gentlemen, it's the getting up. It's the getting up that, that counts. So let us be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, knowing that our God is well able and he will never leave us or forsake us. He is his word. His word is his, is his bond. He says before one dot passes away, heaven and earth will. Let us continue to lock arms in faith trust God, thank him, and let us do it wholeheartedly. Let us seek him. He says, if we seek him, we will find him. If we seek him though, with all our hearts and all our souls, God bless you. And thanks for the opportunity to speak. Happy Thanksgiving. Amen. God be praised. God be praised. Hallelujah. Oh, this is more than we bargained. This is more than we bargained for tonight. This is more than we bargained for. I have a testimony. Yes, it's the son. I have a testimony. You're talking about that gift that's wrapped in a sandpaper. I work with one. <laughs> and this young lady is just so rough. And I'm so upset with her for something she did recently that I can't even look at her when I'm speaking. And I prayed this morning, I said, Lord, this is not how a Christian should be here because she's looking at me and wanting to communicate, but I don't want to because I'm still so upset. But I said, I cannot keep doing this. This is not Christian-like. So I prayed and I asked the Lord, please take this away from me. And this morning I went in, I'm trying to look at her, <laughs> I'm not looking, but I'm looking. And by the end of the day, I was able to look <clears throat> and communicate in a joking way. And my heart is so much lighter. And so um, I just want to thank God for his grace and his mercy because he puts these sandpapers in our life because I need it. Not because she needs it. Because that's between her and him. It's because I need it to be sand down. And I am so grateful. And that's my testimony. So thank God for so many. And I tell you, this is not the first sandpaper he sent into my life. So that just tells you how much standing I need. <laughs> but I'm thanking God for his grace and mercy. Amen. Mm -hmm. praise, praise God. Praise God. And brother Mel, I'm speaking from the heart, my brother. Speak it out. Yep. You're going to be up there preaching. <laughs> Whether you like the big words or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. This so so uh, so so children of God, next next month, in a few days, in a few weeks, it will be Christmas. So if you think of getting brother Mel a gift, I, I, the 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 strong's con, the strong's concordance would be a good one to get for him. Amen. Okay. okay. <laughs> the strong's concordance or, or 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 Matthew Henry's Bible commentary. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has it right beside him. <laughs> That's the concordance right beside him. Amen. Amen. Oh, <laughs> just <laughs> we yeah. give. We give thanks to our, our loving and faithful God. And Amen. there's a song. Oh, gosh. It's okay. I... No, no, no. I'm sorry. I just, I was, I'm not going to put her on the spot. I'm not going to put her on the spot. I, I, I just heard the voice in my head and I saw the, the face right here. And I said, oh gosh, I want Sister Adrian to sing a solo, but I'm not going to put her on the spot like that. There's a particular song, but um, you know that song, isn't the, isn't the Name of Jesus Wonderful? Yeah, that one that she, she sung sometimes at our altar. Anyway, isn't the Name of Jesus Wonderful? It's, just, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful song. Anyway, people of God, 
we thank God for his faithfulness. Um, I'm going to ask Sister Jennifer if you'll just do, do these announcements, and we're going to do a closing song and do the benediction. Thank you, everyone, for joining us uh, tonight on this beautiful Thanksgiving night. I mean, Thanksgiving celebration. And Sister Jennifer, if you would. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, wonderful. That's the one. That's the one, Sister Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, not, 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 not quite Sister Adrian, not quite Sister Adrian, but <laughs> not at all, not even in her book. But guess what? God listens with filtered ears, my son. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, Sister, Sister Jill, over to you, my sister. Okay, thank you, Brother Roderick. So here's what's happening at World Life Christian Fellowship. So as I've said on Sunday, and I'm saying on Tuesday, we have been on Zoom for two years. Oh yeah, two years. And so in 2024, we will be meeting in person. So for those of you who long to meet in person because you're tired of sitting at your dinner table or in your sofa, in your pajamas and you have your good church clothes and you want to put them on. So we're going to be putting on our church clothes, going to church in a building, brick and mortar, as of Sunday, January 7th. That's the first Sunday in 2024. And for those of you who are early risers, this is just such a perk because service starts at 8.30. And for those of you who do not really like to get up early, then this is a challenge to show that you're really serious about worship. So I'm going to see you at 8.30 on January 7th, 2024. And don't keep it to yourself. Tell somebody, you owe it to tell somebody that you are going to church in a building and you want them to come sit next to you. Because I refuse to go to church with just two people. So tell somebody. And, and we would tell them as well. As the Zoom. And where are we going to meet? It is at 7881 West Sample Road in Coral Springs. And for our Zoom buddies that we've just gotten together for the past two years, don't think that you're going to be left out. Our Zoom information remains the same. And we will be seeing you. And you know what? You're going to get to participate. You're going to get to shout and, and listen. It's going to be something else. So put it on your calendar. Tie a bow on your finger. January 7th at 830 Amen. at 7881 West Sample Road. Amen. Anything else? Oh! Tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow is a famous day here at World Life. On Wednesdays, we get to not eat or we get to fast and pray. And we're praying right now for the salvation of folks. And you always start at home. So we pray for our families because our families then become communities and communities become cities and cities become nation. So let us keep our family in prayer and pray for their salvation. And as you know, we, we have grief share on Mondays. So if you know someone who's going through a difficult time, you know, having lost their loved ones, we're here to do life together. So please tell them about our grief share. We'll be so excited to have them or numbers on the screen, they can call. Of course, you know, they have to register, et cetera. So please tell somebody, be a light to someone that's down. And of course, here yeah, we believe in prayer. And if you know someone, including yourself that needs prayer, just reach out to our 24 hour prayer line. We're here to pray with you, for you, and to come alongside you. Believe in God for whatever it is that you're petitioning for. We're here to walk the walk with you. And we're on all the social media platform. So like us, subscribe, but share, share, share so we can make disciples. We're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, X, and TikTok. 
that's it for now. And I will say in Swahili, like, what is it, Mr. Axel? <laughs> Mungu Arubariki. Akubariki. 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 There we go. Nakupenda. Nakupenda. That me. I love you and God bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. So thank you everyone for joining us. The, the, the closing song is a powerful song. Um, that's uh, it's it's just a it's a simple it's a very catchy song very powerful very catchy song it says thank you lord uh, after which our brother mel will do the benediction and thank you everyone for joining us so please pay attention to your screen as we worship worship to this last song <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for the small things like me and her on a poor swing, for summer nights and fireflies and the sound of my old six string. Blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings. If I still got breath in these lungs, then that's all I need to get down on my knees and be thankful for all that He's done for my mama, for my friends, for Your love that never ends, for the songs that make us dance on this old dirt floor. times for pulling me in for giving again the times that i took it too far i gotta thank you for keeping me humble for picking me up when i stumble and although i change you stay the same and i don't say thank you enough for my mama for my friends for your love that never ends for the songs that make us dance on this old dirt floor for my babies for my I just wanna thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Raise up eyes closed. One thing I know. I just wanna thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I saw I saw Sister Jennifer and Brother Mel getting their groove on, and I saw Sister Vinnell getting her groove on. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> yeah. 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 "Amen, okay, amen." So, the Lord spoke unto Moses and said to him, "Say to Aaron and his son, when he's speaking to the Israelites, say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you." The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. Blessings. Amen. 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 Wonderful. Amen. Thank you again, everyone. May you have a wonderfully blessed Thanksgiving day. And as a song uh, writer says, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In a nice, um, cool kind of way. All right. So have a blessed rest, rest of your night and happy Thanksgiving on Thursday. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.
Everyone, happy everyone, happy Thanksgiving. Are you Blessings to all. Blessings. 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 Thanks for my love and me. Thanks for my love and me.